Alright, and here comes uh, Brandon Potter, uh, the alleged Brandon Potter arrives. Uh, he'll be coming on screen shortly here. That was uh, his patrol car that had pulled up that had working audio. And there comes Mr. Uh, Mr. Potter. There he points, obviously talking to Mr. Kane toward the front of the Tahoe. Let's take a look at this again. See him grab the paper and look look at his look at his head movement right there. Obviously, he doesn't exactly look at that. And then again, with look, look on his face and the angry point. What's he pointing at? Just you know, yelling at Jerry, basically the alleged Jerry Kane. All angry. One more time. Angriness. Now he's being searched, as you see here. I'd like to point out first of all that uh, the fact that Mr. the alleged Jerry Kane is standing on the side of this vehicle is absolutely ridiculous. Officers are trained to uh, conduct their business in front of the camera, uh, in front of the vehicle, that way everything is caught on camera uh, in case situations like this happen to occur. Um, you know, whatever the situation is, nobody knows uh, truthfully what the entire situation is because there's no audio, um, as clearly the audio has been cut, uh, as I have just pointed out. And uh, as you can see here, Jerry Kane is off camera, and you're going to notice everything important happens off camera just uh, just conveniently enough and there's no audio so you can't actually tell what happened um, there's no proof of, of anybody being murdered no proof whatsoever uh, you see some things happen um, that uh, you know you could you could possibly infer that uh, a murder took place but you could also infer many many other things and nobody uh, should be making any uh, concrete inferences uh, until they know exactly what happened which by these videos that have been released you can't tell exactly what happened now uh, keeping in mind again the alleged Jerry Kane should be being searched in front of the camera rather than off to the side and here we're continuing okay now I'm gonna go back if you watch through the window of the van you're gonna see some motion first now watch this see right when Potter starts to read the papers Renault there yep right there see now what happens is you see uh, either the dog comes you know over this way or oh, the alleged Joe Kane comes from this side of the vehicle to the other side so you either have the dog moving this way or uh, the alleged Joe Kane moving this way and when that happens you can actually see uh, Joe Kane's uh, head pop out of the open window a little bit as uh, the window is open and his head sticks out a little and the door cracks as well um, before anything else happens a little bit of motion in the van and the door cracks watch this again watch up here right in this area here it comes there's the motion there's the head poking out of the window there's the door cracking now one more time there's the door crack. Bring it back a little bit. Okay, here we go. This time we'll watch for the head in the door. Watch right over here. There it is. And now the next thing that happens is you see Mr. Kane's arm come off of the hood of the Tahoe here very quickly and you see the officer react now when the officer reacts the first thing the officer should be doing is going for his gun rather than going for his gun he holds on to the papers and gives chase uh, which makes no sense procedurally to my knowledge um, now let's take a look at this keep an eye down here in the bottom right hand you're gonna see his forearm move back where's the rest of his body going and what's it doing nobody knows because it's off camera and we have no audio
there it is see now interesting and instantly the alleged Joe Kane jumps out of the van now let's watch 